In the Fibonacci sequence, we start off with 1, go to 1.618, then 2.618, 4.23, 6.85, and 11.09. But in this video, we're going to demonstrate how to use pentagons to create a Fibonacci spiral to the length of pi. Firstly, let's start with a pentagon that has the side of 1. So the next measurement that we're looking for is 1.618. So what we'll do is we'll extend this side out. But where does our measurement of 1.618 stop? Well, that's the beauty of pentagons. If we have a pentagon with the side of 1, then this measurement here, shown in red, from there to here, measures 1.618. So all we have to do is swing an arc out to here to intersect our line and we get our measurement of 1.618. And that measurement will form the base of our second pentagon. Now once we've drawn our second pentagon we can then repeat the process to find our measurement of 2.618. And of course, that measurement will form the base of our third pentagon. And so we can keep going and find the measurements of 4.236, 6.854, and 11.09. We can then add in our Fibonacci spiral. We do so by drawing a fifth of a circle from the center of each of our pentagons. So just this section here, that's one-fifth of a circle. And the result is a far more beautiful and accurate spiral with some very interesting attributes. Now, to best appreciate the special attributes of the spiral, we've, we first need to start with a circle that has the diameter of 2.23 or the square root of 5. And we do so by starting off with a square that has the dimensions of 1. Use this point here as the center of our circle. Draw the circle and we have our diameter of 2.23 or the square root of 5. Now if we just take that circle with the diameter of 2.23 or the square root of 5, add in our pentagons and our Fibonacci spiral, we have here some of our interesting attributes. If we start here at point A and go all the way around to point E, A to E is 3.1415 or pi. But now if we start at point B and go all the way around to point F, then we get to B to F comes to 5.08, which is pi times 1.618. Now if we shrink all of that down, we can keep going. So here we have our measurement from point A all the way around to E, which was pi. Our measurement from B all the way to F. B to F is 5.08, or pi times 1.618. If we start at C and go all the way around to G, we have 8.28, which is pi times 2.618. If we start at D and go all the way around to H, we get 13.08, which is pi times 4.23. Now, if we go back to our standard Fibonacci layout, we can see here what the measurements of these circles are. Pi, or 3.1415. This circle is 5.08. This circle is 8.22. And this circle is 13.08. But the point is, is that all of these measurements are represented here in our Fibonacci spiral, 
based on pentagons. As we can see, all the measurements are there. Now, if you're trying to work out the maths for yourself, start by calculating the circumference of this circle here. Now, if you remember, the diameter of that circle was 2.23, or the square root of 5. Multiply that by pi, and you should get 7.02. Then divide that by 5, and you should get 1.404, which is this length here. Then, all you need to do is add the lengths of the larger sections, or the smaller sections together to get these figures here. And you do that by taking that length of 1.404 and multiplying it by the golden ratio of 1.618 to get these measurements, or dividing that measurement by 1.618 to get these measurements. And then add them together and you should get these measurements here.